Here's seven projects on Void Facts to tell your friends. Remember seeing those cool barbecues in the yards of some houses? Well, they're actually a little different from normal barbecues, because they use propane as fuel instead of firewood. So if you're ever in need of a propane tank immediately, you can just take one out of these beauties to use in your metalworking indoors, or you can just enjoy some cooked food after the electricity shutdown. Have you ever wished to have windows with actual glass on your buildings? Well, you can't really craft glass or windows in vanilla Project Zomboid, but you can move existing windows to your house via crowbar and a hammer. And voila, you have a window. Time to get creating. If you've ever used wooden spears as your main weapon before, you know that they break quite often, and you have to keep equipping a new spear every time they broke. But there's a cool feature in Project Zomboid that makes this process a little bit easier. If you press and hold down any of the hotkey equipment buttons, there will be a wheel coming up that shows which items you can put in that hotkey spot. And this way you can take your spear out of your inventory and to your back, and then equip the spear with less clicks. This also works with holsters and belts. The only requirement is that the things you'll equip need to be in your inventory and not your backpack, otherwise they won't show up. At this point, you might know that you can collect rainwater and plumb the rainwater into a sink to have running water in the apocalypse, but did you know that you can also plumb a washing machine and wash your clothes? To plumb a washing machine, requirements are the same as normal plumbing, but you'll need 3 electricity skill if you want to pick up the washing machine to put it somewhere else, and then just take a pipe wrench and plumb it. And voila, you can wash your clothes now. Oh, you actually need electricity as well, so make sure to have a generator in the premises. Have you ever started a fire in your neighborhood by accident? And now you're worried that your safe house will burn? Well, no worries. Just have an extinguisher near your house and you'll be able to extinguish the fires easily. Make sure to change your fire extinguisher from time to time as they will eventually deplete. So, you picked a short-sighted trait and you're annoyed by the forging radius debuff it gives. Well, just wear glasses and your short-sightedness will be solved. And you'll lose the minus 1.5 forging radius debuff the short-sighted gives until you take off your glasses, of course. Now that you can forage better and you decided to live in the woods, far from the city, you will need to light a fire. But you have no lighter or matches. Well, no worries. All you need to start a fire are a notched plank and some sticks. You make notched plank from planks via knives or screwdriver, and you make sticks out of planks with a saw. Now while you're trying to light a fire, you might break some sticks until you see a spark, but if you have some spare sticks, you'll start a fire eventually. Also, if you have any unknown facts for Project Zombie, put them in the comments to get featured in the next video. I have like 800 hours in this game, and I bet that you guys will still have some interesting facts that I've never heard of. Can't wait to read them all. And also, here's a plumbing guide that I made if you want to try plumbing a washing machine to your safe house. Bye bye!